हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेवेंथ चैप्टर द चैप्टर नेम इज पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट सो चिल्ड्रन इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट एंड देयर यूजेस एंड जर्मिनेशन ओके सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट एंड देयर यूजेस ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट we see different kinds of plants around us they are of different shapes and sizes okay a plant has two main parts one is the root and another one is the shoot okay so the root the part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root that usually grows below the ground okay children you cannot see it above the ground okay in the diagram you can see the plant below the ground you can see there are roots you see the plant from up don't see the roots okay so the parts of a plant grow under the soil is called root students let us discuss about types of roots there are two main types of roots okay and first one is tap roots and second one is fibrous roots okay let's discuss about in detail students let us discuss about tap root students it consists of a main thick root from which small roots grow okay plants such as bean mustard and hibiscus have tap roots in this diagram you can see that below the stem there is a long root which is going in the soil now you can see the branches of a root there are small thinner side root okay and the main root is thick this type of root is known as tap root now let us see about fibrous root it consists of many thin roots that appear bushy there is no main root plants such as grass wheat and onion have fibrous roots okay this look like a bunch of roots students you can see the diagram there is no main root there are many roots so this type of roots are called fibrous roots okay let's see about functions of root students why are roots important no plant can live or grow without roots hence roots are very important okay first point roots hold a plant firmly to the soil children it helps the plant stay fixed to the soil okay and second point roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and pass them to the plant okay it takes in water and minerals from the soil which are used by the plant for making food okay and third point some roots store food for the plant some plants store extra food in their roots okay see the students some special roots are there okay roots of plants like carrot turnip radish and beetroot store food this can be eaten some of these roots and uh, eaten by human beings okay so students today you will read this lesson 7 page number 70 in your textbook please go through this topic okay now we will continue the lesson in the next session okay see the next video thank you